Hello everybody, it is Craig Whispin Storyteller here and I hope you are well as always. So, here we are, my first ramble um, for a while now and I decided to start doing these monthly. I used to do them quite a lot if you remember, um, weekly but I think monthly is probably the right kind of frequency uh, for me. Um, so yeah, how are you? And I really do hope everything is going well for you. Um, I'm fine. So we are now in October, but this is going to reflect on um, the month of September. So, um, yeah, the dark evenings are here already, the dark mornings, so I'm now having to drag myself out of bed on a morning because it is still super dark now and I'm driving in the dark again to and from work a lot of the time. Um, so you might notice before I move any further, this is a slightly different setup, maybe it looks aesthetically different and uh, that's because it is. So I am using um, a different camera for this video um, and I've got no microphones uh, to talk to either because I'm using a, a different microphone as well. Um, I want to get your feedback on this. Is this something that you enjoy or you like? So I am using the Sony ZV Mark II, uh, which has been loaned from a really good friend of mine in my workplace. Um, and I'm also using a um, nice microphone. It is a Rode microphone. I'll put the details in the description down below. But Yeah, 
some lighting up as well. I've got some Halloween content that I'm planning to make. Um, I haven't filmed anything yet, but yeah, just trying to get my head around what I'd like to do this Halloween um, and hopefully get it up and record it as soon as possible. I'm also working on another channel, which I mention every time, but I'll mention it again. It's Wookie Video Presents, and you can find it in the description below, or you can click on my channel page, and it will take you straight to that page. Uh, it's a channel where I talk about uh, something which I'm very passionate about, which is movies. And uh, I write a, a love letter, if you like, to movies or pop culture in general. That could be TV shows, music, songs, movies, books, anything which falls under popular culture. And I absolutely love it, but I've got to um, upload one a week for each channel. So one for Whisper and Storyteller and one for Wookie. Um, anything else would probably require me to be um, not working in a full-time day job. So until or if that opportunity ever comes, um, I might have to stay what I'm doing at the moment, which is one a week. But to become a full-time content creator would be a dream of mine, to be honest. I do this every day, usually in my work as well, but unfortunately I can't do my own personal videos when I am at work. So um, I have to do it at weekends when I'm off. So I generally spend a Saturday and Sunday filming and then editing uh, content as well as catching up with friends and family and uh, doing the, the usual chores that happens in um, everyday life but if I you know if I was to let myself dream if I could spend you know um, four days a week making content I could upload at least twice three times a week um, but yeah do check out Wookie uh, tell me what you think you'll probably see a very different side of my personality uh, this is very much my personality too, but it gives me a chance to be enthusiastic and not softly spoken. Um, it's just another facet of my personality. Um, if it appeals and you like movies, then give it a try. Um, if you don't like it, or maybe I'm too loud compared to what I normally am on this channel, you can stick with me here, of course, but it, this is equally a part of me authentically as well, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's always super nice to catch up with you in a ramble. So I've mentioned there that time is an issue, uh, and it is for everybody, to be honest. Anybody who has um, a day job might have trouble to make content more than uh, once a week. So I've started a new day job, so I still work for the same company, but I am um, working in a admin type um, video creation role, um, as well as coordinating things in my uh, site as well. Um, I really like it, um, it plays to my strengths because I am a people person, I enjoy conversing with people and just making things flow very nicely and I like to act as a bridge between people as well. So my natural skill set is not to look at screens and figures and analytics. I prefer to talk to people and uh, make people feel happy and relaxed. So there you go. So I'm starting this new job but it's only until February. Everything is good though. I am enjoying um, everything at the moment. Um, and again, still enjoying being a dog owner. I love my 
my dog Elo. He is a little joy, but he is hard work too. Um, it's really a lot of hard work having a, a, a pet uh, because they just need that little bit more attention. Uh, the walks, the barking. So I've already I've tried to uh, make this three times, but Halo decides to bark at another dog walking past. And I've got to um, see to him and stop him from barking. Uh, but it's a natural thing to do. So I um, asked somebody um, who was very good with dog psychology about why does Halo bark at other dogs. He doesn't bark at people, he just barks at dogs. And they said it's because he's protecting his environment. He's protecting me. Um, trying to warn the other dogs to stay away from me. It's not really cute. Um, but that might explain why he feels the need to uh, bark so much. But he's got this really high-pitched little bark. It's not very scary, and I think even smaller dogs will look at him and think, you know, who do you think you're kidding? I am not frightened of you. But he's such a lovely, lovely natured dog and he loves people. He lies on his back for complete strangers and lets them stroke and tickle his belly. So he's such a, a cutie. Um, so yeah, that is me for September in a nutshell. I hope you are well and I hope you've had a really good summer. Um, you know my summer, our summer in the UK has been very wet. We've had storms, endless storms, but things are quiet at the moment, um, grey and damp. Uh, but how's your summer been? Where have you been? There's been lots and lots of heat waves, but um, again, well documented on this channel, but we've had a very poor, um, questionable summer. So there you go. Um, I don't think there's much else to talk about at the minute. And of course I'll be back again very soon uh, in October, maybe late October with another ramble about how things are going. Um, so I will um, bid you a goodbye for now. Uh, do let me th know what you think of this setup. This setup is super easy for me. If it works, I will invest and buy the same equipment that I'm using now. And uh, it means I can record the sound at the same time. But it just depends whether it works, whether it's relaxing. I can still do ear to ear. Look, I've even got my cameras and my microphones here. I just haven't got them uh, plugged in. I'm just using the camera um, attachment. So, 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 you can see a little bit of um, the dead cat hanging over the camera lens there. So, I am going to love you and leave you, everybody. But do let me know how this is, if you like it. Um, I would be great if you did, but if you don't, um, you know, we can continue on with the usual setup but uh, the camera looks much nicer um, the colors are really vibrant and popping too um, so yeah I think this is the camera for me and I hope you like it too but enough waffling from me I'm going to love you and leave you as I said and I will see you very soon with some hello <laughs>